Okay guys, so this is our very first mod review for console on SnowRunner, and are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? <laughs> we have the iX3880 on console. Now, this was the one that was released yesterday, and then they took it off. Um, I'm not sure why, but it's back today, and this thing is fantastic. Like... This is the kind of mod that I will definitely be using in my main game. Because we don't have any proper wreckers in the base game. And this thing is just awesome. I, I love this thing so much. I can't even... Ah, oh man. I can't even describe. So, let's take a look first of all at our customizations, okay? So, now I'm on the, uh, the test map. The Proving Grounds. So, we're going to have all of the options. So, we have the... ISX-15 Cummins, the OP, iExtreme Research and Development Center Prototype Engine, used with caution. Uh, it comes with the 16V2000, then we have the Westline V16, and the M2450. <clears throat> Pardon me, so... This here is ideally the best engine, so we are going to go with the OP Cummings. Now this thing has some really cool features on it. So the gearbox, we have balanced, high range, and off-road. And then we have the special off-road. And then we have the overpowered Iggy's R&D. Iggy's R&D center prototype gearbox, eight auto gears, two low gears, and a fast high gear. So, yes please. <laughs> Suspension. We have the base hauling suspension, we have the jack hauling suspension, and we have the active. So we're going to go with the active. Tires, there's a lot of tire options, guys. But we are on the snow map, so... I really wish they'd fix this on console. I wish you could scroll down these a lot quicker, but... Unfortunately, we're getting a little bit of lag there. Probably because I'm going too fast, or trying to go too fast. But as you can see, man, the options for tires are just astounding with this thing. Okay, let's come on. we got to be getting to the chain pretty soon. There we go, chained. So these are all studded. Ice Monster Mud Tires. Hmm. I kind of like these here, the dual, so we're going to go with those. Winch, stock heavy. Uh, let's do the advanced heavy. The flock engageable snorkel. We'll go with the wedge cap. Definitely going to go with the all-wheel drive. Frame add-ons. Now, guys, this is where this vehicle is crazy. So we have a three-slot box with doors and ramps. Now, I'd like to show you guys all of these, but this video would be way too long. So I'm just going to let you guys explore this yourself. Then we have the Rotator's Toolbox Extra Repairs. Sleeper Box Toolbox. Rotator's Repair Cart. OP mini crane for POG sideboard. OP mini crane. I'm curious as to what that's like. The program's three slot folding side cargo bed. Three slots, guys. This is awesome. Two slot rollback. A three slot rollback. So that's crazy. But this, guys, this is icing on the cake. A 70 ton rotator. My God. That thing is awesome. So, right now we're going to go with that. We're going to put that rotator on it. Um, we have a rotator axle lift. So, we'll do that. Rotator box top cargo slot. <clears throat> so, I don't know why that's locked. Back to 065 if you're really careful. 
um, rotator toolbox. We can do that. Okay, now we can get the uh, box top cargo slot. So guys, this will hold like one, one slot of cargo on there. How freaking awesome is that? So all these are OP. And then we have the saddle high and the saddle low. This this truck is just insane. Like, I can't even describe how happy I am to get this truck in the game, man. This is definitely, like I said, I, for me, for uh, the base game, progressing, progressing through my missions... I don't want to do anything that's, like, ridiculous. Okay, let's do that. And that. Okay, so now this thing is all tricked out. But, uh, like I was saying, I don't want anything that's going to, you know, make the game insanely easier for me. But I feel this. This is something that's really cool that will really come in handy. You know, especially if you're trying to do a realistic thing where you're going to go back. And I mean, the in-game, the crane, the heavy crane was all right. But like this, this is a proper rescue vehicle. This is a proper wrecker with that rotator on the back of it. Oh, this is just awesome. So rear bumpers first. What we have here, stock mud flaps. So we'll put the stock mud flaps on. Rooftop, various, flasher bar. So with the wrecker, with the uh, rotator, I'm sorry, that has a flasher bar on it, so we won't do that. I think we'll just do the uh, the chrome horns for now. Hoods. Now this one's kind of crazy because you could take the hood off. So right now it's got the hood with the chrome trim, but if I take that off, the hood will disappear. So we don't want that. We want to keep the hood on. So we'll keep it with the chrome trim. Front bumper. We have the brush guard bumper. 1,250 kilogram mass. Front bumper chrome. Front bumper matte. Uh, painted. And then a winch bumper. 2,500 added mass. So let's uh, let's take that one. Miscellaneous. Mirror housing. Chrome mirror housings. Uh, matte. Fuel tanks, chrome matter painted. So just kind of custom things like that. IX stickers. There's like a lot of these. And they all kind of go all over. I think this is <laughs> Planet Express. <laughs> no way. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, these are locked. Oh, this is probably... These are all locked. Okay, I see. You need different add-ons for these to go on. Okay. Exhaust. We have the muzzle exhaust, chrome, matte, full matte, and painted. So I think we'll go with the painting because that looks pretty cool. Rims. This has got some... Oh no, I thought it had more rims than this. Okay, it must be with the different tires have different rim options. So this tire doesn't have rim options. Alright, that's cool. Paints, there's a ton of different paint jobs. You have all the standard. I actually just just watched today Jeff Faviano do a video um, on this truck. He did a job with it, and it was all in black, and it looks so good. But we got the two tones. We got kind of like that Joker color. But uh, I'm going to keep it what it is. I'm going to keep it that... Like camo color, I think that's pretty cool. Bobbleheads, that we're not going to mess with any of that. That's all the same kind of thing there. Snuffles. <laughs> okay, so that's actually a different. So we're gonna, we'll do that because I kind of like that. That looks pretty cool. Okay, but uh, there it is. Even though it doesn't look like it's all there, it is. When we leave, it wasn't. What happened? Ah, uh, hold on, guys. 
Okay, so here we are again. So, what I will say is I have noticed with uh, this mod, sometimes when you're in the garage and you're customizing it and the game freezes for a little bit, and then when you come out, you lose things. So you have to go back into the garage and redo it for some reason. I, I don't really know why, but we went with this configuration and we got that area there where we can put cargo. So let's start this thing up. All the lights work. Now I will say that the horn is kind of odd. It sounds like a train if you listen. <laughs> it sounds like a freight train. But uh Yeah, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna grab some cargo. To see what this looks like with cargo on it. This is such a cool vehicle to have in your fleet, I'll tell you. Like I said, I was kind of on the fence. Uh truck, piece of airplane wing. Yeah, so we can load that up in there. Now we have some consumables on the truck. You know, so... Man, how awesome is that? That's... That's cool. I like that a lot. Alright, so that's the outside of it. Let's take a look at the inside. A little bit of stutters like that I've, I've noticed. So the interior, man, it looks really good. They did a really good job on it. I mean, it's just, it looks like, it looks like the devs made this. You know, you can see that this is a newer vehicle. Um, it reflects that on the interior. It looks so good. But we have a little bit of a job to do. We have, oh, huh, long wheelbase, long wheelbase, dude. Gotta get used to that. This is a truck that Jamie would be proud of if uh, you've ever seen that show on Netflix. Um, shoot, I can't think of the name of it, but they, uh, they're up in Canada and they run a rescue operation on the, uh, the Coquihalla Highway. Very cool show. If you guys have never seen it, I would suggest you checking it out. I will put the name of that show up. I'll flash it on the screen at some point. Okay, so I definitely gotta get used to this. So now I'm not even in all oh, wheel drive yet with this thing. And it's just a beast. It is just a beast. Let's see how it goes up over these logs. Might not. Oh, there we go. Just had to put it all wheel. Oh my god, look at this. Might get stuck. Yeah, probably gonna get stuck. So let's see if we can't back up. It's just because that long wheelbase. So let's just go right through this deep snow. Alright, so this this truck may be a little bit OP. <laughs> Just a little bit. But honestly, with a truck like this, I'm fine with that. Uh, that doesn't bother me. Because, after all, it is a heavy rescue, so it should be able to go through the worst, the worst of conditions. Alright, so there's our job right there. We have that Freightliner stuck in the water. We gotta get it out. So now I'm sure with this thing I could just back it in the water and we could just, you know, hook on a toe, but... No, we're here to use the rotator, man. So let's just get like right to the water's edge a little bit here. Okay. So let's put in crane mode. Put off the anchors, guys, look at that. 
That is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to raise this up. Now, I'm not sure how far this extends. Uh, we should be good. Yeah, we are good. Oh, awesome. Look at that. Raise it up here. Okay, guys, so let's move that over there like that. Exit that. Now what we're going to do, let's check this out. <coughs> Use, wait a minute. Use control mode, axle left. Fast control mode, axle left. There we go. Wait, it's not working. Let's see. Sideboards, use rotators, axle left. There we go. So we're going to drop this down. And extend it. I think that should be good. Okay. Close that. Go back into crane mode. And... No, no, no. Gotta... Get that on there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to restore the crane. Use the axle lift. Raise that up a little bit like that there. And guys, look at this. <laughs> How sweet is that, huh? I mean, the fact that we can actually do this with this truck. Oh my god, this is so cool. So now we can safely tow this back to the garage. And get it all repaired. And as you can see, <laughs> it stays. It stays on there. A little difficult to turn. Okay, so now let's just uh, try to get this vehicle off here. We'll do that. And now, again, the, the controls, I'm not crazy about how the controls are done. But that's more of a... You know... SnowRunner issue. Okay, let's see if we can... Nope, it's still on there. See, that's the only problem with this, so... What we're going to have to do, which isn't that big of a deal. Do that. Nope, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh. Come on, lift it up. Okay, there we go. Now we'll exit. Now we'll pull this back. Lift it up. I don't, maybe we won't be able to lift it up. This truck might still be in the way. 
Ah, it is. <laughs> so, you guys, this is probably my only complaint. And like I said, this has nothing to do with the mod. So don't think that it has anything to do with the mod. It's, uh, it's strictly the way the game is designed. If they could figure out a way to do this more smoothly where you didn't have to go into, like, a menu to do this, it would make all the difference. But again, I'm sure once I get used to it better, it won't be that bad. So we'll raise that up. down there we go restore the crane and there we go we're good to go so now I'm gonna bring this back into the garage and the other thing that I really want to look at is that uh, that other one, that kind of flatbed one that, that's that's on the rollers. So I will be back with that in a second, guys. Alright, so now we have the roll back on. And I'm really interested to see how this works. I mean, this is definitely better for smaller vehicles like your scouts and stuff like that that get stuck. But I mean, for like, oh, kind of like a roleplay series, you know, the possibilities are really endless for this. So that's what we have to do. Rollback controls. Back, forward, up and down. Okay. go and now my guess would be that winch spot right there is perfect oh man look at this guys this is just badass like I'm sorry I truly feel that this is something that the game really needs. Like I say, I know like in my Discord and stuff, I've kind of said that, you know, I I don't want to use mods if they make the game too easy, but a mod like this, this is fantastic. This is something the game really does need. Okay, so let's, uh, let's use this here. that back like that bring it forward there we go okay so now can we it says remove cargo so we can't lock the cargo down I thought they I thought they did something about that. Um, okay, pull winch. Alright, so it will not come any further than that. Let's see what the winch off. Ah, pack trucks. There we go. Haha, <laughs> success. <laughs> oh, this uh this makes me happy, guys. This one makes me happy. This mod right here alone was worth the wait for mods in my book. 
that's how I feel about it. And I don't even know, you know, man, this truck is just going to be so awesome. So let's see how this goes through. Oh, my God. Okay, let's put Divlock on and see how this does. Okay, now, do I have... Yes. This changes suspension mode. Okay, so I am under, like, I have a lot of weight on this. Wow, this is really deep snow. Holy crap. <laughs> ah, no matter. Anyway, guys, that's uh that's our first little mod review. Um I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you like this truck I, as much as I do. I know that this is definitely a whoa. Look at those backup lights. That is insane. Wait, how did that even happen? That is awesome. But anyway, guys, that's the mod. I think this thing is fantastic. I'm definitely going to be using this in my, uh, in my gameplay. I probably won't be able to afford it, but, uh, I think this is this is the kind of mod that we've all been wanting and uh, this is truly something that's going to make the game take it to a completely different level. I feel that something like this should have been in the game anyway. I mean to have a game like this and not have a proper record just seemed odd. So yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you dig the mod. If you did make sure you give the, uh, the person who made it some love. I will put his name across the screen now because I don't know it off the top of my head make sure you give this a thumbs up in the uh, the uh, the mod menu I keep wanting to call it mod hub and that's not what it is alright guys so that's where we're going to end the video thank you for watching and we'll see you next time